హలో ఆల్ వెల్కమ్ టు సినారియో బేస్ టాబ్లు ట్రైనింగ్ ఆఫర్డ్ బై రాయపట్టి ఎన్లెటిక్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ కల్పన రాయపట్టి రిజిస్టర్ ఎట్ రాయపట్టి ఎన్లెటిక్స్ డాట్ కామ్ టు గెట్ ద ఫస్ట్ టూ వీక్స్ ఆఫ్ ద టాబ్లు ట్రైనింగ్ ఫర్ ఫ్రీ ఆల్సో గెట్ ద మొబైల్ యాప్ ఫ్రమ్ గూగుల్ ప్లే స్టోర్ బై టైపింగ్ రాయపాటి ఎన్లెటిక్స్ డౌన్లోడ్ దిస్ యాప్ టు యాక్సెస్ ద కంటెంట్ ఈవెన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద మొబైల్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో లెట్ అస్ టాక్ అబౌట్ వన్ సినారియో వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ వన్ సినారియో డిజైన్ టూ వ్యూస్ ఇన్ టూ షీట్స్ టు డిస్ప్లే సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్డర్ క్వాంటిటీ యావరేజ్ ఆర్డర్ క్వాంటిటీ పర్ సబ్ కేటగిరీ వన్ విత్ సర్కిల్ సింబల్ అదర్ విత్ స్క్వేర్ రిప్రజెంటేషన్ ట్రై టు షో ద సైజ్ వేరియేషన్స్ what is that they are asking here i am having sub category now i am taking quantity as they are asking us to show sum of order quantity they want two views let us look into that first let us build this sum of order quantity per sub category now i build this view but what is that they want one with circle symbol other with square representation first let us build the circle symbol so now i am showing sub category wise order quantity by default whenever you build any view here other than time series data if you are having any other dimensions then you will get the bar charts now you don't want to have bar chart you want to show the circle representation then here if you see in the marks card you are having this drop down automatically what is the chart type you are showing that it is coming here but if you want to change the chart type then click on this drop down here i am selecting circle now see you are getting circles but at different places you are getting circles why you are getting like that first of all let us bring the labels here now here i got the label of each sub category details why you are getting circles at different places because let us understand what are the values L let me take one an another sheet here i am taking sub category wise quantity what is that accessories is having the value 2976 now here 2976 is having we had this discussion that whenever you are whenever you are showing any measure in the view then that measure will gives you the access now as accessories sorry accessories is holding the value of 2976 where this 2976 will lie on this axis somewhere around near to this 3000 right left to this 3000 mark line now see here it is coming near to this 3000 like this based on the value that that sub category is holding it is pointing and you are getting the circle at that point from this chart you can see that the least is coming from the copiers the least quantity is coming from the copiers whereas the highest is coming from where from the binders okay now this is one view and what is it they are asking again they are asking us to average order quantity per sub category with square representation now here i got with circle right but here which one is giving highest and which one is giving least if you can you need to map it like this right even if you have some data which is near to each of that then you can't you are unable to vary which one is giving highest and which one is giving least each circle is getting the same sized circles now i am doing one thing i am bringing quantity and i am dropping sum of quantity in the size now see here the least one copiers is getting the smaller circle but we are unable to locate that right that is why i am increasing the size here now see okay let us adjust to the readable sizes okay now see here with this you can understand which one is giving highest and which one is giving least at a glance now see the size variations is also coming now i am doing the same but in in the other view i want average of order quantity per sub category but with square representation right now what is that you need to change you need to change the aggregation and you need to change the type of chart you are showing in the view other than that everything is same right 
Now what is that I am doing here is, I am right clicking on this sheet one, here I am having one option duplicate. That means same sheet I am getting in another sheet. Now as I need to change the, see this is the original one and this is the duplicated sheet. Now here I am changing the aggregation from sum to average. Now even as you change the aggregation in the view, you need to change the size variations also based on the aggregation of average, right? Not sum. That is why here also I am changing it to average. Now see, so each of the subcategories based on as the average values are very near to each other, all are coming, all are getting mostly the same sizes here. And one more point, we need to represent them in the squares, right? Now again, from circle to square, how to change? Just go to marks card drop down. Now change it to square. Okay. Now you got the complete required view. Try to show size variations also. We are showing the size variations. And one point we need to observe here is whenever you are showing size variation, whenever you dropped something in the size window, here on the right side, you are getting one legend. This is size legend. If you want to show this, then you can show or else you can hide this size legend. How the sizes are allocated to the view. That information it is giving. Okay. This is about this scenario guys. If you want to know more details about the training, then call to the number 9121314333. Okay guys. Thank you.